Okay, <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is once you have all your photos in here, we need to overlay text on each one of these poses. And to do this, uh, we're going to use a text box and, uh, and the information that you wrote down in the Google Doc. So I'm going to go to the Google Docs. I just made a copy of it, so um, this is my list. I wrote in sen sentence format. I think it just works a little better. Um, and that way, if we need to take up more room uh, to copy and paste more information, it's easier to do it than doing it just kind of bullet points. Um, so this, I would suggest doing it this way. So this is my happy and proud list. So I'm going to copy that, just highlight it and copy it and then go into Photoshop. And then from Photoshop, you want to find, here, I'll just exit out of here. You want to find your character window. So if you don't see the character window here on the side, the little A, you want to go to window down to character. Um, I just have mine over here. Yours might be uh, in here in this little side panel. Wherever it is, you want to find it. And the default is it's going to show up as black font. And we have black background and it's black and white. So we're not going to be able to see the black font very well. So I would just make, just make uh, a color. It could be white. It could be a different color just as long as we can see it for now because we're going to have to make some adjustments. Okay, I'm going to get my type tool. And this is the happy, so we're dealing with the photo here on the right. And I'm just going to drag a box around the area where I want the text to live. And I don't want to go over uh, into the next photo. And you can see this is the default text that it landed. I'm just going to put text in this area. So... Uh, to do this, I already copied it, so Control v like Victor, is paste. And it's pasting all of my sentences. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm going to click my Move tool, just so I have a better uh, view of what's happening here. And you can see I've got my character window. And right now I've got Bratzy's script. So you can see that it's a script font. I don't think the script font really defines me as a person. I'm not, I don't associate myself with a, a script style font. So I want to choose a font that I can read, but something that has a little bit of style. And I want you to do the same thing. So don't go crazy with the font. We do want to be able to read it. Um, so you want something that's fairly simple. And I'm going to pick, let's see. Alpha Kind. I like Alpha Kind. It's kind of cartoony, <clears throat> animated. And I also have it set to right now to 12 points. And I think that it is a little too small. I want it to be a little bigger than that. So I'm going to increase the weight. I'm just, I highlighted it and I'm using my mouse wheel to just increase <clears throat> the point size. Um, and right now, 15 points looks pretty good, but let's see, 16, I'll go 16 points. So you see that I do have text going beyond my head and my uh, shoulder there. Actually, it's not quite going over my shoulder. So we need to make some adjustments so it kind of fits the frame a little better. First thing I'm going to do is I want to change um, what's happening here. So if you look, I've got letting, which is the space in between uh, the, the lines of text. And if I tighten it up, you can see that it's taking all of the text I want it to where there's just a little bit of space in between each line because the more I have, uh, the less space I have in between each line, the more detail I'm going to see in my picture. I'm not worried about the 
text stopping here because we're going to copy and paste it so it goes all the way down. Okay. So this is looking good so far. The next thing I want to do is we're going to get into your paragraph. So some of you might have your character and your paragraph kind of next to each other in the window. Mine is right here. I can just grab that. Uh, I just moved it over. Let me move it down. Now, if I open it up, you can see right now that under paragraph, I have it left, left justified. So we could do center, which I think works in this, in this case. We could do full justification if you want, but we're going to add spacing in between there. So I'm just going to go center. I like the center. All right. And now I like what I'm looking at so far. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my type tool. I'm going to highlight all of that text, copy it, and paste. And you might have to paste it more than once, but you want to paste it enough times to where it's filling up that whole area. You are going to repeat this process for each one of these, and I'll see you in the next video.